Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Tuesday, August 11th. We are continuing out of Common Prayer, a liturgy for ordinary radicals. And we begin with a little bit about the life of Claire of Assisi, who lived from 1194 to 1255. Claire Ofreduccio was born into Italian nobility in 1194. She ran away from home at the age of 18 after hearing St. Francis preach on the streets of Assisi. She chose to wed Christ instead of the man her parents wanted her to marry. With Francis's help, she founded the Franciscan monastic community of the Order of Poor Ladies, the Poor Clares, at St. San Damiano. Claire became abbess of the order in 1216 and led the sisters in their commitment to poverty and manual labor. Her own mother and sisters later joined the order. As abbess, she fought hard to resist any papal orders that the poor Clares establish a rule of life. She is often depicted holding a monstrance, symbolizing her use of the Blessed Sacrament to defend her convent from invaders. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you, as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Our song for this morning is called, O Lord, Have Mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on me. In your mercy, receive us, Lord, and give us grace to cling to you. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 57, verses 1 through 5. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for I have taken refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until this time of trouble has gone by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who maintains my cause. God will send from heaven and save me. He will confound those who trample upon me. God will send forth his love and faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions that devour the people. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharp sword. They have laid a net for my feet, and I am bowed low. They have dug a pit before me, but have fallen into it themselves. Into your mercy receive us, O Lord, and give us grace to cling to you. Our Old Testament reading continues out of 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 17 through 30. Jesse said to his son David, Take for your brothers an ephah of this parched grain and these ten loaves, and carry them quickly to the camp of your brothers. Also take these ten cheeses to the commander of their household, their thousand. See how your brothers fare and bring some token from them. Now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah fighting the Philistines. David rose early in the morning, left the sheep with a keeper, took the provisions, and went as Jesse had commanded him. He came to the encampment as the enemy was going, was going forth to the battle line, shouting the war cry. Israel and the Philistines drew up for battle, army against army. David left the things in charge of the keeper of the baggage, ran to the ranks, and went and greeted his brothers. As he talked with them, the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, came up out of the ranks of the Philistines and spoke the same words as before, and David heard him. All the Israelites, when they saw the man, fled from him and were very much afraid. The Israelites said, Have you seen this man who has come up? Surely he has come up to defy Israel. The king will greatly enrich the man who kills him and will give him his daughter and make his family free in Israel. David said to the men who stood by him, What shall be done for the man who kills this Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? The people answered him in the same way, 
so shall it be done for the man who kills him. His eldest brother Eliab heard him talking to the men, and Eliab's anger was kindled against David. He said, Why have you come down? With whom have you left those sheep in the wilderness? I know your presumption and the evil of your heart, for you have come down just to see the battle. David said, What have I done now? It was only a question. He turned away from him toward another and spoke in the same way, and the people answered him again as before. And our New Testament reading continues out of Matthew chapter 26, verses 69 through 75. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse, and he swore an oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. In your mercy, receive us, Lord, and give us grace to cling to you. A little more about Claire of Assisi. When the Pope offered to absolve Claire from her rigorous vow of poverty, she answered, Absolve me from my sins, Holy Father, but not from my wish to follow Christ. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, help us to be faithful, even when we face our own fears. Remind us that we are your children, even when we feel inadequate. We know that you have overcome giants and crosses and all things evil. Help our unbelief. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.